Greetings, I'm Nancy Plants, and today I'm foraging a couple of things. The first thing I foraged is some, um, what is this? Uh, Japanese knotweed took me a minute. Um, both the things that I'm foraging are invasive in my area of Connecticut. So I found these in the backyard of the apartment that I am renting. I've never tried it before, so I cooked it pretty simple with some vegan butter and some veggie broth and um, just cooked it on the stovetop until it got soft and then I tried it. Now it wasn't my favorite but um, the the tips of the Japanese knotweed tasted like fiddleheads which was awesome but the stems were a little sour like rhubarb so I think in the future what I'll do is for savory dishes just use the tips and then use the stems to make something like rhubarb maybe cook it up with some sugar and make some kind of chutney or spread but it was my first try this is a very easy plant to identify it's very vigorous uh, there is no danger of over harvesting because it's actually very invasive so um, really kind of a, a neat thing to harvest um, obviously if you have it growing on your property you should try to eradicate it but why not harvest it and then eradicate it <laughs> All right, uh, the next plant that I foraged was uh, garlic mustard. <clears throat> and it's April in Connecticut right now, and uh, these two things are in season right now. So the garlic mustard, you can use it. It has a flavor similar to broccoli rabe, and I basically just cooked it in a pasta dish. And it cooks up really fast, like a spinach or any other green like that. And uh, it was very good. Uh, so I normally harvest garlic mustard every spring. This spring was the first time that I tried the Japanese knotweed, so I'll work on that a little bit, and if I come up with some good recipes, I will post them. But anyways, uh, thanks so much for watching. Um, I know this is a little bit of a weird video, but one thing I feel like YouTube lacks is showing you how to cook these foraged greens. Uh, lots of videos on foraging, very few videos on how to cook the food. Um, so if you like this, you know, please comment below, please like, please subscribe. That'd be cool. Have a great day.